Another one. Oh my god. Another nice fish. That's another big something. I was literally sitting like right there and they opened it up. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Excited to be with y'all today. We are out here on a gorgeous fall afternoon. We're gonna kayak out here on a river that I have not fished in a very long time. And lucky for us, we got here just as they turned the water on, which means that the fish should start biting at any moment. And in preparation for that, I brought a bunch of different rods and a bunch of gear to target just about anything that swims out here. Everything from a box of night crawlers to an eight inch glide bait and everything in between. Um, there's a lot of crazy fish species that live here. I mean, you can catch upwards of 15 to 20 species of fish at this spot. I'll show you guys the dam. If you look straight in front of me, there's the dam. It's not super big. Um, like I said, they just started generating on this left side. There's some water coming out of the gate. And I'm excited to see what we can get into today. I'm thinking about starting off right here. I'm seeing a few fish swirl off in the shallow pool. Uh, just by tossing some night crawlers out, see if we can catch a few things. But then once this water stabilizes, uh, I want to run up there to the dam and see if we can't catch something big and crazy. I literally have no idea what's up there, what's been biting down here. I haven't been here in forever, and I'm just excited to test these waters for myself today and hopefully put a few nice fish in the boats. So hopefully y'all are excited for all this. If y'all are, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. It shows that half of y'all that watch the videos aren't already subscribed, so go the extra mile. Hit that subscribe button for us. It would mean the world to us. We are approaching 300,000 subs, and we would love to reach that mark sometime soon, so please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll do my best to put some fish in this kayak for y'all today. Let's go. Well, so far, no good with the live night crawler suspended beneath the little float. Kind of surprising. Might just not be around them. I'm about to start picking up some of my other baits since we're up here by the dam so we can't start waxing on some other types of fish. I was really just trying to catch a couple of sunfish just to kind of get some, uh, get the juices flowing, you know what I mean? But if they don't wanna, if they don't wanna play play ball with me, then that's okay. I, they don't want the worm. Sit that there. Let's throw this little chatter bait. I've also got a spinner bait. This little chatter bait up here in the current through these rocks. See if we can get a little bassy bass or something to come out and smoke it. Oh, there we go. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. That's a big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish on a swim bait. Big fish on a swim bait. There we go. Big fish. He did it hard. What is that? Oh, it's in a... What is that? What is that? Oh, heck yeah. It's a big old drum. <laughs> a big old drum. He's so pretty. Yeah. All right. Dude, let me get away from this, from this waterfall here. Look at that right there, guys. First fish is a really nice freshwater drum. Look at the copper colors on them. Now, I wasn't expecting this to be my first fish of the day. I was hoping to catch some of these down here. So this river has some absolute monster freshwater drum in it. Like my PB is swimming beneath me right now. I have no doubt about it. Like monster monsters. So the fact that we caught one of these right off the bat, may mean that we can get one of those big boys out here today, but I'm gonna get him unhooked. He ate that six cents, three inch baby whale, crunched. I thought I had a striped fish to be honest with y'all. But heck yeah, we're on the board. There is some life up here below the spillway. Let's get him off the hook and get him back in the way. Oh, something just jumped right there. What was that? Holy smokes, there's some stuff going on now. All right, the whale is out. Look at that fish. What a beauty. I'm gonna send him back. Oh, there he goes. All right, first fish is a drum, a big drum. Not a monster drum, but a big one. Okay guys, I just rigged up another six cents whale. This again, this is the three inch version using that ghost ice minnow color. The water is clear, but it's kind of brown. It's kind of weird color, but this color looks good in it. Um, that drum tore up my other one. I also put a little bit heavier head on there just to get it down that current a little bit better. But I'm eager to see what we'll catch next. Here we go, fish on, fish on. I don't think that's a drum. 
something different. Did something different. He's running right at him. What is it? Jason Trump, are you kidding? Hey! Oh, we gone. Well, we had our second drum hooked up just then. The bass or striper. Oh, baby. Oh, God. That's heavy. That is heavy. That's heavy. That's heavy. That's heavy. That's heavy. That's a heavy fish. Whatever it is, it's a heavy one. It might be another drum. I don't know. It doesn't feel like a drum. It is heavy. Oh, I think it's a drum. It's something cool. It feels big. Oh, it is another drum. Are you kidding me? He hammered it. These drums are fighting so hard, it's crazy. Look at it. Look at the colors on this fish. Look at the colors on that thing. Third drum of the day. This is our second biggest one, but the colors are insane. Just so golden colored. Now they get up and over 20 pounds out here in this river. That's awesome. Third fish is another nice drum. They are fighting so good, too. I don't even care if they're drunk. In theory, we should hook up with something else soon, but we'll take that for the time being. Let's go back up there to that spot. I'm letting this bait get all the way down to the bottom, and then just kind of slowly cranking it in and get a few hops and get smacked. One of my other target species lurks around the bottom of these parts. So, maybe we'll get lucky and catch one of those. But right now, I have an open mind. I don't care what I catch. I just want to catch something. I haven't really fished much the last week or so. And I just like fishing places that I haven't fished in a while. New areas. Not a new area, but one that I don't have a lot of experience at. And it just feels good to catch fish. There we go, another one. Another one. Another one, baby! I think it's another one of our guys. <laughs> it feels big too. Oh my goodness. Surprise. Surprise. I can't even get him up. Look at this. He's a big boy. Oh my gosh, it's a catfish! <laughs> New species. Woo. All right, new species. I, I did not think that that was a catfish. New species, we got one with whiskers. And again, this is a really nice, healthy looking fish too. He's really dark. He bit my bait in half. Oh my goodness, I gotta get a new bait. That kind of shows you the power of the baby whale. You can catch anything. So far we've caught drum, and now we got a channel catfish. And again, if you told me I was gonna catch two species, and my first two were gonna be a drum and a catfish, I probably wouldn't have believed you at this spot. That's a good one. Be a good eater. I'm probably gonna throw him back. If we catch something other than this, we might we might keep it. But we'll throw this guy back for now. Nice. That's fun, dude. And the water here is really cool. It's coming out from below a pretty big lake. It's deep water. So, yeah, that's fun. Let's get another swim bait rigged up. The whale 3.0, man. Can't say enough good things about it. Like if you're just looking for a bait that's going to be able to target anything and everything below a spillway or really just anywhere. It doesn't matter where you're fishing at. Like a small three inch swim bait like this thing is a great option. This one here has got a good action. It's got good colors. And I really like this jig head six inch fishing too. This is a five sixteenths ounce. I've kind of bit the hook on that catfish, but they'll have that sometimes. Overall, really strong hook. Got a great keeper. If you've been following the channel for a long time, you've seen I've caught thousands a fish on this bait and all kinds it's not just a bass lure obviously i feel like we're on the verge of catching a bass on it though man it's pretty yeah, it's good back in there. all right guys they got the sirens going off again as y'all can hear i'm not sure if that means they're going to let some more water out over here in this little hydro thing or what if they do it might, be, it might make the fishing even better i'm seeing a lot of bait fish activity i'm wanting to see some schooling one time I came down here and they had thing go off and fish started school everywhere. It was crazy. Oh, that's a big one. 
That's another big something. It's shaking it on the bottom, really, guys. Oh, yeah, that's the thing we're buying. He's trying to take it there into the waterfall. Up here. Another catfish. Pizza catfish, guys. I think it's another catfish. He's trying to take me up into the waterfall. Oh, yeah, another catfish. Another nice catfish, guys. Ah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, let's go. Okay, I think I'm going to keep this catfish. I kind of want to take it home and eat him. He's too perfect looking. Y'all see him trying to take me up in that current? That would have been sketch. Like, I cannot go up in there. He's pulling me so hard. Look at that. Second channel catfish of the day. Kind of making me wish I would have kept that first one. But we're going to put this one on the stringer and see if we can maybe get another one. That's awesome. If we do, we'll take him home. We'll probably take him home regardless and cook him up. That is awesome. What a healthy and beautiful looking fish. We got him strung up. Another one. Oh my god. Another nice fish. It's another nice fish. I hope it's a catfish. I hope it's a catfish. Oh my gosh. They're fighting so hard. <laughs> oh, they're loving it. Come up here. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's a. Oh, it's another drum. Oh god. Another nice freshwater drum, colored up, beautiful. I'm not really surprised that I'm catching fish right there, but I am a little bit surprised that it's like every single cast in that like super turbulent water. Like bait's getting down there to the bottom. I'm also surprised the bait's even getting down there to be honest with y'all, but it's getting down there. I'm giving it a couple cranks and these guys are all over it. Another nice one, just so pretty. Okay, let's send it back. Tell your catfish buddy to bite. We need another catfish. So the other side of this dam, there's some more water being discharged and I would like to check that out pretty soon, but I'm not gonna leave these fish biting. That wouldn't be very smart. Put it back there in the juice. I mean, it's literally right there, dude. There's probably some in that stuff. That's, that's way too turbulent for this jig head. One piece of advice that I can give you, if you're fishing a spillway, oh my gosh, I got smoke. If you're fishing a spillway, don't be afraid to fish up there in the stuff. Usually there's like a back current. There's a little hole beneath the back, the, the really fast stuff that the fish like to sit. And that's where all the bait fish are going to be at, where they're, in, where they're getting jostled around. That's where the big predatory fish are going to be up there trying to ambush and feed on all of the small bait fish. And I think that's exactly what's going on up there right now. There, I can see some shad visibly flicking around up there. I'm sure there's some minnows. And this small swim bait is doing a great job of imitating that. You'll be surprised what's living in that super fast stuff. Oh my gosh, we got another one, guys. This feels different. This feels different. Please be a catfish or something completely different. Look at that. Every cast in that good little zone. I think it's a drum. It is a little drum. A little drum. Where's those monsters I know that live up here? Nice. Should we do a drum catching cook? Probably not. Probably not today. But if y'all would like to see one, if you're dying for a drum catching cook, let me know in the comments section right now and me and Jay will make that happen for y'all. Fish on, fish on, fish on, bit it on the fall, bit it on the fall. I was trying to readjust my kayak. Oh my gosh, that is a sweet spot. There must be just a pile of fish sitting right there. I can only imagine what it looks like under the water. I think they're all just sitting their nose up. Is it another drum? Oh my gosh, there's so many drum over here. Got him. Another little drummer boy. So dark. Another nice one. 
crazy colors on these fish. And it's kind of insane to me how the morphology changes from one body to another with those drum. Some places I fish, they're just really light blue and silvery. And then some others like this, they're really dark. He kind of tore my bait up, but I think we're just gonna send it back down there. Well, that was a close one. They just opened up another gate. So much for that. They just opened up another gate on me. I was literally sitting like right there and then they opened it up. <laughs> okay, well, time to load up, I guess. Golly, guys, I just got ran out of the spot I was fishing. Um, you know, the, you can hear the siren going right now. It's been going off and on. They've been doing some work and nothing's really been happening. Um, and I saw the guys wheeling across the dam and they stopped like right above me and opened up the gate while I was right there. I was like, what the heck? Like, that was crazy. Um, I don't know if my GoPro caught it or not. I think it did, maybe it did. I don't know, that was crazy. But It is officially hoodie season here in Central Arkansas, and that did not end the way that I wanted it to. Guys, I came this close from getting in a really, 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 really bad situation, like getting completely wiped out, completely swamped. It was the craziest deal. So let's just go back on this a little bit now that I've had some time to think about it. So y'all heard the uh, sirens going off, and typically when you fish below that dam and a couple of other dams in the area, when the sirens go off, you back your boat down to like the 100 yard mark, they let some water out, it all stabilizes, and you can get back to doing what you were doing. Well, they had rung that siren like four different times, and I had uh, left that spot that I was fishing, went downstream, was like, okay, what's gonna happen? And then nothing happened. They were looked like they were just doing some weird maintenance and uh, just, I don't know, not really intending on letting a whole lot more water out or doing anything crazy. And most of the time they let it out of the hydra. They don't normally get up on top of the dam and open up a floodgate. Um, but anyways, so I just, you know, started ignoring them, which is, you shouldn't do that. Uh, <laughs> but I, uh, I was, you know, in the general area where I was catching those fish at, I saw some guys, you know, wheeling across the top of the dam. Just, I didn't know what they were doing. I'd never seen anybody open a floodgate before up there before. And um, sure enough, they got like the next gate over from where I was fishing at and they just opened it up, <laughs> opened up all the water. It was crazy. I just looked over and was like, oh my gosh, just a rush of water. And had I been sitting where I was sitting at fishing, I would have gotten swamped. But I had just let a fish go. I'd floated downstream and I got really lucky. Like I don't, I, they knew I was there. Like I waved at them and they, they were like, woo, and I caught a fish. And it's like they knew I was there and they just opened it up on me. It was, it was kind of wild, which, you know, like I said, normally when they have the siren go off and you back up and that's just the whole deal. And, you know, it's not a big deal. Like, I'm not really worried about that kind of stuff, but definitely was not expecting all that water to come out at once. It was caught very off guard and I just kind of went into full survival mode. I locked up. I just headed to the bank and um, started putting all my things together. And I started realizing how quickly that water was coming. I was like, oh, dear, I got to really get out of here because it was coming up towards my truck. So... I loaded my kayak up, got my truck out of there, and we went to another dam, and it was no good. It was no good. Normally it's decent, but today it was no good. I caught like three or four long-eared sunfish. I fished for some bass, I fished for some white bass and striper. It just didn't work out. It really, really, really sucked. Probably the worst time I've ever had at that particular dam, to be honest with y'all. So uh, I'm gonna spare y'all, not share any of that awful footage with y'all. And in the video right here, um, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. I'm excited about what we learned out there today. Caught some nice drum, caught those catfish. I think we could have caught so many more of those and more species of fish as the day progressed, but we'll set that, save that for another day whenever they don't release a bunch of water on top of us. Cause again, that was pretty sketch. If any of y'all ever been in a situation like that, let me know. If y'all enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.